Morning, not really sure where to start here. I'd mentioned I would do a comparison after I got the clone Lulu dolls, which are these little little naughty twins here. They look like they're up to something. It's terrible. It's quite funny though. But I thought I'd just do a comparison because then somebody said to me, well, do those clothes fit the Sarah Louise or do they fit the Pippa or same with the shoes, etc, etc. So this is my collection as it stands of the smaller dolls. Um, I think the smallest is maybe six inch up to six and a half inch. Obviously, I think Pippa is the most well known. I think then coming down to these that I'd never heard of. Um, and again, I'm going to set a couple of mentions in a minute because I actually thought they were all the same. Well, they're not. One of them's not. And then we've got some others. So I don't know where to start. Where shall we start? Where shall we start? Where shall we start? Let's line them up in to little sections. I think we have to start with Pippa, don't we? Now, Pippa, obviously we're 1970s here. I have a lot of fond memories. I am not a, an avid Pippa collector. I have got certain ones, and if I see one that takes my fancy, I think, oh, she's so cute, I've got to have her. Um, but she just brings back a lot of memories to me because this was a little doll um, that I had, particularly, really, just Pippa. And this one, now I've been checking the names up here now because I couldn't remember at all. So we have a Marie and I think we have a Tammy. Please let me know because some people said, oh, it's Rosemary. Then I went, oh no, it's Tammy. And I've been on internet and they're so close. I think it's a Tammy. Please let me know. Now, this was my first one. This is my Pippa. She's had a reru. I did this one and I think I gave her a little bit too much hair. So she has this mad hair that looks amazing, but absolutely useless if you want to put hats or anything like that on. And she's in sort of one of my uh, little dresses that I've made. I'm going to take this one's clothes off because then I can compare with the others. She's a little bit loose on the waist. You've got to remember how old these dolls are. In fact, I've just Put her into that outfit and I've forgotten how loose her waist is so she is a little bit loose I am afraid obviously they have the or you can see I want to have to watch that aren't I um because it is starting to come apart there so I think uh, we may need a bit of glue involved but as you can see these do have the jointed knees with these strange little pins which I didn't really notice when I was younger but I can't say as I particularly think it's a great design feature but it is of its time and it is a vintage piece and she has sort of the twisty waist on the angle and just the movement of the arms up and down so she's got a bit of articulation there i'm not going to overly force her because you can see she's looking a little bit frail and i say way too much of a reroute now as i said i think we have a tammy here she's also had a reroute not oh she's flashing pull your top up missus um I think I did that one a little bit more successful. She's got sort of less hair in there, so it sits flat, so I can pop a little hat on her if I want to. This was just a little dress I very quickly made to put into my uh, witches section, because I've got a little wish, witches diorama. And these little bracelets here are actually stitch markers for knitters. <laughs> I got them in, uh, I think I mentioned in one of my Rosemary's Moments boxes, and I'm like... Or am I going to do with them? And there were different sizes. Some have made Cindy ones and some have made Pippa ones. So that worked out quite cute. And then this little girl. Oh, I absolutely love. She's a little bit solider. Um, I do need... I've literally only just took her hair out. So I'm getting ready to redo her hair. Can't make up my mind. I've got a couple of colours. I think I'm just going to go with a generic sort of brown. Um... And I quite fancy with shorter hair, but I have to learn how to sort of flatten it and maybe a fringe. I think that would look quite cute, but uh, at the moment. But again, she has this exactly the same build as Pippa there with the little knee joints and everything. So I'm going to put those two to one side because they're not really going to be kept for a comparison. I'll just put them there and you can still see them. You want to have a nosy. And I'll put Pippa there because she's going to be a comparison girl. Now, the next ones I found, I didn't even know existed. I am a massive fan of Cindy. Um, and then I saw these and I'm like, oh my God, the tiny, tiny Cindy's. I didn't know that they existed. These are the Debenhams Sarah Louise dolls. Now, you can see, I just don't know what to do with the hair because this one did literally come with hair like this. Um, so I don't want to cut it because it's quite nice. Um, I'm going to have to try the conditioner treatment on the ends, see the fabric conditioner, see if I can get... I mean, they feel soft, but you can see it has gone frizzy. So I do need to try and pin that down. I've just sort of pinned it best, back best I could. Um, this one's not too bad. Again, a little bit frizzy. 
and we have another one here now to me they looked incredibly like cindy they've got the same sort of i'm going to pop her head off same sort of little ball head system now which one shall we undress i think we'll go with this one and we can, again she can be the one that we keep for the comparisons in a moment or two so again she has a twisty waist but i'm not going to compare with them at the moment but she's a little bit more solid we have a slight sideward movement on the arm because we have a little hinge there shoes we will discuss shoes in a moment so i'm going to leave them on her feet so we'll use her for our comparison oh look at that I picked out the two purple haired girls you can see she's quite a bit bigger there so again these are going to be our comparisons in a second whereas uh, they're going to be just watching on now this is the other one i thought i was buying one of these but it was just a different more of an articulated version i didn't know there was a difference as i said this one was made as a debenhams exclusive which i never saw as a young girl but debenhams was sort of a bit posh to us perhaps so it wasn't a shop we were going into so that was a debenhams exclusive range uh this is actually made by a company called zodiac so and she's called judy now i thought this looked like cindy but when i've compared the facial features with my cindy i actually think this one looks more like cindy this one's got a lot more eyelashes etc etc so i do actually think she's more like cindy now this is the original hair she came with so i've not touched anything here but this is actually quite nice this just needs a good wash a lot of these still need a little bit of tlc but they're on the list i'm afraid there's a massive list so little dress love these little dresses you've just seen the marie one that was on this one and the two little dresses there they're from uh, a friend of mine cheryl um who i have uh, popped on my site when i've done some smart doll clothing that i've had from her so she does from tiny upwards which is brilliant now she's strong you can see and we have lots of bends she is very articulate articulate articulated and on the back, it does say that she is from Zodiac Toys. And it says exclusively for Zodiac Toys. So I thought I was getting one of these, and it's one of these. And she's still gorgeous, and I really like her, but I'm a little bit nervous about these joints. So again, we'll keep her for a comparison when we pull them all together. Now, the next one, I started looking in for small dolls. 6.5, 6 cent inch up centimeters they'd be tiny wouldn't they uh six inch ones and i didn't know that they made a barbie now i think she is absolutely adorable uh i don't really collect barbies i have the odd one or two the most of our barbies are bought for my granddaughter because she loves barbies so we'll just take her dress off she is a princess as you can see she has fixed shoes so there's not a lot we can do about the shoes no articulation really bit of sort of side movements and that but again i'm just going to pop her there for a comparison because we need them undressed for comparison so i hope that's not upsetting anybody now i mentioned my little lulus they had their own uh, video a little while back again don't know what to do with the hair i could do with some work on that i do think they are funny little faces and i do think they look like they're up to something all the time so as much as i was only going to have one of each i'm going to keep them because these are my evil twins um and they're again they're always conspiring and getting up to something so which one shall we do we'll pop that one to one side this one has a uh, pippa outfit well not pippa it's one of the others but the same company so we'll take this one off and we will pop her Oh, her head feels a bit loose. There we go. Her hair there as well. So we have one, two, three, four, five for comparison at the moment. The last two I'm pulling out is Disney. Again, I didn't know Disney did them. I picked this one up for three pounds. Um, again, it's a Cinderella, I think. It didn't come with an outfit, but it does say Disney on the back. So we will strip her off to do a little comparison. These little shorts she's got on are actually ones I got for my Pookie Pookie, my BJD doll. Um, the one of my, my first, my first little resin doll. Uh, so you can see how tiny they are. But they actually fit these, which is great. <laughs> so it's surprising what sort of clothes will fit different ones. The top's a little bit big for her, but it was at the time it was going to just pop something on her because she hadn't got any clothes. So let's take that off. Oh, we can see some similarities coming in if we do a bit of comparison because these are a lot later than these. 
Hmm, interesting. Right, and we also have this one. I got two of these. I don't think she needs much of an introduction nowadays. I keep hiding her from my granddaughter because she's desperate for her. And she's got this gorgeous little stole on, which I'll take that off. And let's have a look. I've not actually taken her clothes off uh, at all. She's been in these since I got her. I think I paid, uh, I think it was £4, but I got her and... I got uh, another one, uh, a male one. Oh, I don't know what the tissue paper's about. There she goes. And again, this is a little Disney doll. It just says Disney China on it. She's got some glitter on her legs. And we'll pop her there because her dress is all glittery. So these are the ones we're going to be looking at as a comparison. Because there's quite a height difference. A lot of people have said about these two particularly. Oh, well, can she wear her clothes? Can she wear her shoes? There is quite a size difference there. Look at that, I would say that we've got an inch difference. In fact, I could do with getting a ruler. Bear with me a second, I'm going to get a ruler and I can show you properly. Hey. I've just dropped something on the floor. It's not nothing that will hurt. And let's pop my mic back on. And here is a ruler. It's that way up, yeah. So if you look, that is actually going on seven inches. But if you do put her in, you will find people are saying six and a half. Whereas obviously our Pippa should be about six and a half. Can't tell with all that hair. Yep, just just under six and a half, I would say. So you do have to be careful with the sizes. So if we're putting this height size, we'll go that way around. So we have our Sarah Louise, we have our Pippa. Now I actually think this one, she's probably about the same size as Pippa. Let's have a look. Yes, yeah, she is. So we have our Judy, our Zap, Zap, I was going to say, then our Zodiac equivalent. Now these sort of clusters, if you pop on uh, Cindy clone, Pippa clones, Mini Cindy's, um, these are the sort of things that will come up. You could argue they are clones, but they are brands in their own right. It's like with any of them, they are brands in their own right. So he's, let's see who's next. I think this one looks quite tall. Again, allowing for that hair. Again, I think we're about the same size. I'd say smaller. Is it because her head's smaller? No, it'd be just because her head's smaller. But I would say she's the next one down. We have our Lulu, who should be the same as Pippa. Because she is a Pippa clone. And she's actually made by the same company. But they're Bradgate division. And obviously she's a much cheaper sort of quality. You can sort of almost hear Whereas Pippa is more solid. So I'm going to pop her next to Pippa. Because she's sort of maybe her cousin. They're semi-related. And then I think we don't need the roller to see the next. The Barbie comes in next. And we have our... You know, I always want to say them the wrong way around. Our little Anna doll there with very strange feet. I'm not quite sure what that's about. So if you are buying them, you can see there is a big difference. The Sarah Louise is definitely quite a lot larger than these. She does look like it's a different sort of scale doll altogether. But I actually love this one. This is one of my favourite. But let's have a look at feet because people keep asking me about shoes. Now, these are not the original shoes. You can see they're slightly larger. And I'll tell you what they are. They are... Mattel, they are the Chelsea doll. I mean, I think it's Chelsea who's the younger one now. Um, and these were actually on a pair of shoes we bought for my granddaughter. Um, and at that point, uh, she was at a stage where she, everything like that she lost anyway. So I said I'd keep them for safekeeping, and they fit this one here. And then we'll have another pair of those up there. So they are quite good, then. Let's have a look at the little shoes that I've got so we can compare. This is a little toolbox. Um, I think it had nails in it, but it's great for actually popping little bits in like this. So these are definitely Sarah Louise and actually this one, Judy. I think we all know what a Pippa shoe looks like if you're a Pippa collector. So I have a few. I've got some white boots and white shoes there, some black shoes. In fact, I'll pop red shoes in with the black shoes. So I've got a few there. That was just a little Tinkerbell slipper that I made for them. And these, now if I remember rightly, they do fit somebody and I can't remember who. Right. They make quite a chunky little shoe for Pippa. Can you see? Now these are some little dolls. I'm not sure how to pronounce it. It's spelled D-D-U-N-G. Da-dung. I don't know. The original Korean ones, I've got a big one and a couple of original ones that I've 
that have been posted from Korea. But the pound shop, of all places, have these little tiny ones. And they still have them in. They're not called the dungs, but they, they're exactly the same. If you look on the back of their neck, it says it's the same. But on the label, it just mentions it's some little chunky doll. But the shoes... So, yeah, the doll was a pound. My granddaughter had the doll. I acquired the shoes. But, and I think I've got one as well. Let me have a look. Yes, I have still got one up there. Um, but the shoes fit. But they may like maybe chunky, sporty shoes for her. They are a bit chunky. So I've got a couple of pair of those. So it was worth paying a pound for the doll to get the shoes. And then obviously uh, the doll was quite cute as well. So we've got some different shoes here. But definitely a massive shoe size difference. In fact, let's take that sandal off you. And we'll have a look at our feet. That's a big difference yeah that is quite a big difference and they get smaller again yeah well, that's about the same size but there's not as much structure let's have a look similar doll but still quite small feet and these well these just get silly tiny but uh, and this one doesn't need shoes and i'm not quite sure what has happened to anna's feet uh, she looks like she's, I don't know what she's had done to her feet, bless her. But she's a cute doll, so I quite like her. So you can see again, so no, Pippa shoes do not fit. Sarah Louise, they do not fit Judy either. She's very specific and she's got much more of a heel, as you can see. Oh, she is loose, isn't she? I'm going to have to find out what to do about that. I've not really done much with her. She had the original reroute and then she's just been sat on the side but I really didn't know she was that loose. So that's going to be Sarah Louise's sandal. Again, take a Pippa shoe. You like Cinderella here? No chance. Yeah? So that's a Pippa shoe on a Sarah Louise. So the answer to that is no, they don't fit. But do they fit this one? They should. They do. They fit our little Lulu doll. So that's good. They're not going to fit in a million years. No. Nope. They might fit this one, do they? They might be. Actually, they're not too bad on the little Disney one. That's not a bad fit on the Disney. Obviously, she's got a set of shoes. I don't even know what I want to do with her feet. So, on average, you can see the sizes. I'm not sure what other comparisons we can make. I think facially, Judy is the nearest to Cindy. Again, you're just looking at a quality difference here. But they are the same company, so you can see where the likeness is. So they just made a cheaper version. I can't remember Pippa being particularly expensive because, well, my mum didn't have the money. So I wouldn't have been spending a lot of money on dolls. So I don't know how cheap this one was when it was originally bought because I'm sure she was not that expensive. But if you do look, a lot of them have taken a very similar design. I mean, look at this one. Look at how the hip is shaped. Look at the angle of the waist. And this is Disney. She's sort of like a cross between the two. I don't think, her, I think her face shape's a bit odd. Um, but you can see she's got roughly the same proportions. It's the same sort of bust size, same waistline. So much about her that is very, very similar. And again, even with the Mattel, we have a similar sort of hip shape in here. Whereas this one's very different and... These, again, this is very Cindy-esque on both sides of them. And obviously we've got the jointed one here. As much as I think she's got more of a Cindy face, I prefer the body of this one. This one's much more solid and she has, like our Cindy, the little bends on the joints there. And again, we do, we've got a bit of movement on the arm. It does go sideways. I'm not going to push it, but uh, it has got a side joint there. Whereas this... Again, the plastic is cheaper. Uh, she looks like she's had her leg broken and mended at some point. Again, when you're buying them, you've got to remember how old they are. We're looking at sort of 1970s, sort of for this side. They're a fair age. These are newer. But I do think they're pretty. I mean, this one's got a little ballerina outfit. I mean, I have taken that off. But um, she's not in bad condition. She's quite solid. But again, these are rubbery legs. These are plastic legs, so she's quite different, rubbery and plastic. I think the rubbery is a little solider than the plastic there. So that is that as a comparison. There isn't really one main lady I am missing from this lineup. I mean, obviously, there's lots of different pippers and lots of different uh, 
the others but one particular brand uh, which is the Topper Dawn or Dawn Topper I'm not quite sure how people say it now I'm sort of kicking myself because I've been looking for one now and the prices are going up like they are for Pippa particularly um, but problem being is I had two of them when I first oh a few years ago start, decided I wanted a Pippa and I saw them online and I thought oh it's Pippa there wasn't much to compare with that point and I bought them they weren't they were Dawn's two of them and I got rid of them I sold them and I sold them for next to nothing because at that point the market wasn't moving up and I waited and waited and then eventually I got this Pippa so I'm a bit cross now because I see I knew enough gave them away and really I could do with one just to say I've got sort of one of each of these sort of categories so I hope you sort of enjoyed watching this I'm not quite sure whether I've been of a great deal of help apart from fact maybe about the shoes and like I say these are the little Chelsea dolls that you can get you you know you can buy odd shoes well not odd shoes you don't want odd shoes but you can buy just shoes on eBay sometimes they will come up because I know the Pippa ones come up and uh, they're not always very cheap I was lucky I got all these little white ones and I've got some little red ones there and they came in like a job lot and it was a job lot of Cindy things but then there were these tight little tiny box of shoes and those pippa shoes so for me that that was a great find because just a pair of pippa shoes um if you're not careful are starting to go up definitely in price but you might be able to find this sort of shoe pretty cheap tiny weeny bit big i think um i think these are quite nice the trainers but again they're the same doll so you've got the nice little trainers she's got quite big feet hasn't she compared with the others i think it's because she's not got such a, a pointy toe um, and heel she's a little bit more flat footed which I think is more of a Cindy trait compared with a Barbie trait for example although some of the Barbies now do definitely have flat feet because I've got a couple that have got flat feet so they can't wear the heels which is a bit disappointing so we'll pop her there I think as much as this is Pippa and I don't know which one because I know I keep seeing people I'm part of one of the Pippa groups uh, my sister's quite a big Pippa collector and they keep putting on oh I want a so-and-so or a this or a that and I am not an expert in a billion years. I do not know the difference. I had enough on finding out what these were um, because they are not my main collectible. As you know, it's Smart Dolls and Cindy's are my main collectibles. It's just every now and again, other dolls take my fancy. And I very much like this proportion of doll um, because it fitted in with sort of the doll's house things that I've got and the miniatures in that respect. So I like doing the dioramas with this sort of size doll. Uh, we're in the process of, well, destroying an old doll's house at the moment and rebuilding it. It's not on a vintage one, so don't worry about it. It's just an MDF job. Um, and we're trying to, I'm trying to recreate it. It's, it's been a disaster up to now, but it will get done and they will have a little home because I've got room boxes, but I want some uh, other little sort of dioramas for these little ladies as well. So again, hope you enjoyed that. Just a quick video, I think. I can't see my clock on there. A um, few comparisons. Please let me know if you know any more about them. I uh, got a little bit of information off the internet, but sometimes you feel like you're just going around in circles rather than getting any information. So please like, subscribe and share if you did enjoy it. Hope to see you soon. I have another doll box on opening, which is absolutely nothing to do with any of my others. But... <laughs> As I say, it's what I'm inclined to be, whatever takes my fancy, rather than being strict. The only ones I'm exact on is my Smart Dolls and my Cindy's. So, bye for now, and I'll see you very soon. Bye!